We're here, we're strict havening, we're striking while the iron is hot, and we're going again. What have we got this time? Draconic intervention or lightning bolt? I say, 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 obligatory check of 17 lands. I think draconic intervention is really strong, so much better than I thought it was. I just thought it was a terrible card when I first saw it. I didn't realise how easy it would be to get everything in the graveyard here. Yeah, it's really good. I assume Bolt's just as good too. 5.5. I'm thinking I will take Bolt over Intervention. It leaves me a lot more open though. No, it's just wrong, isn't it? Let's just take the Wrath, Form out of Wrath. Oh. I don't know why I always say that. I always say, I think I'm going to do this and then just do the other thing, which I which was the better play in the first place. Okie dokie. So, Draconic Intervention. We presumably want to be red blue. But I'm not going to go out of my way to do it. I think I'm just going to take Quandrix Apprentice. Quandrix Apprentice is a bomb. I mean, I assume if I look at 17 lands, it's going to be. Okay, it's nowhere near as good as I thought it would be, but it's, it's just a fantastic card. I think it's got to be better than Elem. The only one I can think of is the Elemental Masterpiece because it works so well with uh, Draconic Intervention. But I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna take the best card in the pack and leave it there. Well, the Super League looks like it's dying on its arse. I just hope that all the clubs responsible are punished heavily, and I mean heavily. Fines, relegation. So it's not been the the best thing for football. For those of you who aren't interested in football, ignore me. For those of you who aren't interested in me, ignore me. As we see, a tendrils, a dental, the tendrils. I'll take Mage Jewel. Mage Jewel over, well, over Aether Helix, I think. Yeah, I wish I had the bolt now, but. You gotta do what you gotta do. And you gotta take Mage Jewel here. Despite my deliberately not drafting Quandrix last deck, which I think was still the right thing to do, I am oh, I win with Quandrix a lot. It's probably the best skill that I find so far. And Quandrix Apprentice is just so good. It's so much better than all the other apprentices. Channel. Why are we playing if not to take channel fourth pick and just go for it? Yeah, boy. You know what? We're going to send a picture to Davy. Uh, next pick, uh, presumably, just going to take another major. Annihilation's fine. Matrix is really, really good though. My first set I was playing in properly was uh, Dragons of Tarkir. And if anyone remembers the fight spell in that one epic confrontation, one in the green does this. Matrix probably a little weaker on average because it usually costs one more mana. But that fight spell was brilliant. That's a long way of saying I'll take Mage Jewel here. Probably not playing the Draconic Intervention at present. Red, green, not the best colour pair. In a format that doesn't support red, green. Oh, I love me. A pop quiz. I also love saying pop quiz. <laughs> I don't know why, it's not that funny. Venerable Warsinger going pack s pick six is crazy to me, but hey ho, I guess it's going to go pick seven. I'm going to take the pop quiz over the environmental sciences, I believe. But I'm going to think about it as first. So let me just do the obligatory. I really want access to environmental sciences though. No, I'm going to take pop quiz. I want exactly one environmental sciences in any draft pool I have. Oof. 
I also want an introduction to prophecy. I'm just going to take a third maze jewel though. Maze jewel's fantastic. We'll just keep taking as many maze jewels as we get. And hopefully we can channel and play them all on the same turn. The channel's a bit hazy, let's be brutally honest here. It's probably probably not going to get played, but who knows. Maybe it does. Let's get rid of Draconic Intervention. Now, this is a start I can get behind. Okay, subtraction's good, 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 good. Could take Prismari Campus. It's the other pick here. I don't want the Groff. Hmm. <laughs> if I'm taking the Campus, what am I hoping to do? I'm going to play some blue red cards. Presumably, that's usually what you hope when you pick up some uh, blue red land. Channel oddly works better in blue red, doesn't it? I'm going to take the campus. Ooh. I think if I'm taking one campus, I think I'm. No. Well, <laughs> Leyline Invocation, famously not very good with channel. You know what? Let's go for it. Let's try. Let's try something a bit different here. Strategic planning. A little bit meh. I've got to take another campus. I like the idea of playing multiple colours here. And we're in a strong position to do just that. There's not a strong position here. This pack's a trash. I'll take a tendrils for my collection. Eh? I'll take an infuse of vitality for the same reason. So red white is open. But we can't get off the three mage jewels, I don't think. We could play green black. In which case an unwilling ingredient, I guess, goes up in it goes up in value, then Pledge Mage over the campus. This is the time I will take the Pledge Mage. I <laughs> actually got a campus back right. Well, this is interesting. So we're definitely taking the Augmented Pugilist. It's better than any uncommon I can take, and it's in my the one colour I'm sure I'm going to play. But I'm trying to work out what it is I'm going to do here. So we want to focus our deck around these three... Maybe not focus around the deck, but certainly bear in mind that big creatures are better in this deck than they would be otherwise. Hmm. The Prismari Campus obviously fall down in value for playing green black because they didn't do anything for us. I guess we just see where we go. Probably Quandrix, but we'll see. Like, um,. Witherbloom was very much the open colour at the end of last pack. But we have a Zimun Quandrix Prodigy, and that card is just fantastic. Another Leyline Invocation as well, but this card's ridiculous. Let's just take it and see where we go. Well, I'm not going to pass a Cultivate, I don't think, especially when we're thinking about playing multiple colours. Yeah, the Cultivate's fantastic here. Fantastic! Over Professor of Zoomancy, I'd really like that Professor, but I'm not going to pass the Cultivate. I'm certainly going to think about what I'm going to take before I say it. Fractal Summoning's huge. A huge pickup always. I think I want it more than the Emergent Sequence. I always take a while to work out whether Emergent Sequence is the fight spell or the... Uh, the land one. Uh, the land one's worse. So I'm going to take Fractal Summoning here. Just keep seeing where we go. I think the Master Symmetrist is what we want. Three Mage Jewels. Big old trampling things. Works well here. Over a Deadly Brew. Okay, here's where we can start thinking a little outside the box and think about the Ardent Dust Speaker. Get rid of the that chap. The Ardent Dust Speaker is really good. Is it better than the Pledge Mage though? Hmm. Just a five mana five five fights things. Do we need to be clever? Do we just need to take our five mana five five? 
I'm just going to take the, uh, I'm going to take the on color card. Well, the Witherbloom Apprentice. Interesting, interesting. It's not Ignis. I think I'll take the Apprentice. Like, we could still end up green black. I don't really want to. I want to be green blue because of me Zimone. And me Quandrix Apprentice, I guess. But I'd rather have this than the charge through. Yeah, let's go for this. The accomplished Alchemist. That is a very late pick for what is just essentially a good, not great, but very good card. Like, it's basically that Centaur from uh, Amonkhet Remastered. The, not Amonkhet Remastered, the second Amonkhet set. The Formula 2-4, gain some life. Tap for one of any colour. I'm confusing two cards there, because that's the Renown one. Not Renown, the one we exert. Anyway, I'm going to take it. So the dream of playing multiple colours is alive. I think Draconic Intervention can come in. Yeah. As to whether or not we play it, we shall see. But we need to pick up some big spells and work it. Maybe it can't come in just yet. But it's certainly on in consideration. Ether Helix is great here. I still I'd still like to pick up the Arcane's of Traction, but Ether Helix is just a really powerful card. I like the pledge mages with channel, incidentally. Not saying, not saying they'd be on the battlefield when I cast it, but having the ability to gain some life later in the game offsets the heavy life loss that Channel uh, presumably engenders. I'm going to take the Leyline Invocation here. And we are looking strong. The three mage jewels are still the, the headliner for the deck, and I'm, <laughs> I'm definitely playing Channel. So I guess I don't want heavy mana symbols, if at all possible. I've got one, ch one pop quiz, pop quiz, as I call it, into fractal summoning. Okay, let's take these out for now to try and get an idea about where we're going. Okay. This is winnable. I guess I take the Vortex Runner. Rise of Exodus is by far the best card here. You know what? Let's go for Rise of Exodus. There's still a chance we end up green black. The Lash of Malice as well. I mean, what are we losing? Some things, Quandric, Zimone, let's just... Oh, I think I know where we're being told to end up. Okay, I, I can take a signal. Let's see what we open. Hmm, irrelevant. Field trip is good. It helps fix our green, which is not the problem here. Introduction to prophecy, good as well, but... Uh, field trip is definitely the pick here. I was still trying to work out where we end up. In one of these it means I can p play the blue with a little more freedom not that I'm going to I think I'm gonna have to choose between green black and green blue this is very exciting isn't it all very exciting not that exciting do -do 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 -do. <laughs> Man City coming out of the Super League now as well lol Okay, what well, Quandrix Command, I pres presume this probably answers all the questions. There's a Quandrix Campus as well. This card's just really good there. I mean, we're losing these three. This is the one I'm most upset about losing. I don't think we're meant to splash any of these though. Lash of Malice. 
I mean, what worries me a little bit is we're at seven creatures and a three fight spell deck. So I'd like to pick up just some more bulky things here. I certainly don't think we need a golden ratio. Oh, Mavinda Students Advocate, is there any way we can play that? No is the answer. is so good. We can't stretch our mana that much unless we go green black, pick up silver quill campus. Yeah, but then we lose like to good the card, so I'm gonna do that. I'm just gonna take the Professor of Zoom and see over the golden ratio. Ah, lovely. I think I'm going to take this here. With two green black lands, we can probably start thinking about playing something if we want to. I just. No, no, wait. Okay, let's just take the, the mature pick, which is the Pledge Mage. I think it's better than the Emergent Sequence. I'm not a huge fan of Emergent Sequence. Big beefers work well here. Ah, Eureka Moment. That's exactly what we want. We'd we'll be missing something like that. So one learn or two learn cards, one very good lesson. <laughs> well, just one lesson. We can consider not playing pop quiz. We don't pick up another lesson. Mm, I clearly was not meant to be green blue here, or it was meant to be green black. But I'm just going to take the Scrooge Colony anyway. I'm going to watch this one back and work out where I should have taken the green black cards because I never mind let's take accomplished alchemist over fractal summoning all this changes things now we can start looking at other colors I think I can play draconic intervention if I really want to here Another field trips usually would be excellent, but I've skimped on the learn, so I think I'm going to put that in the side, but it's on the lessons, sorry. I might even play the first. Yeah, nothing really here for me, I'll take a reject. Ideally not play it. Uh, that's exactly what I want. So honestly, I think I should be in a different colour pattern. I'm going to play Draconic Intervention, I think, with two Prismari Campus and two Accomplished Alchemist. I'm also going to play Adventurous Impulse, I think. Yeah, that's got to be good in this deck. Could cut the channel. That's a good card. That's a very good card. I'll just take emergent sequence though. Okay, so an interesting draft. I think this might be the. That's a good last pick, incidentally. I think this might be be the one I've navigated worse for a while. I don't think we're in the deck we should be in. I th think, yeah, we, sh we shouldn't be, but we are now. I'm gonna get rid of Pop Quiz, I think, with Quandrix Apprentice, Zimone, Eureka Moment, and Ether Helix. We're looking good on card advantage. And Pop Quiz with only one learn isn't looking great. Well, ideally, I don't want to play Emergent Sequence unless I am splashing something. 
Splashing to chronic intervention seems kind of lame here. It's just I feel we should be doing something more powerful given what we have. I just feel we've we've missed out a bit here. How are we doing for non-basic? So two blue red and I mean the cultivate obviously would play one red. And those guys, we could find it with Cultivate, Emergent Sequence as well. Although you don't really want to Emergent Sequence your one splash sometimes. Hmm. I think the deck looks a lot better if I just do that. Channel Big Things, can we do that? Yeah, I think a Cogworth Archivist is... No... We've got three five drops already. Okay, an interesting build. I feel we fucked up. I might be brutally honest. I think I'll just go to emergent sequence here. I don't want all these coming to play Tablands. Maybe I just like two of them. Definitely that one, definitely this one. Yeah, just these two. We have one learn card with field trip. Into the Fractal Summoning, we have loads of biggish creatures, two of these. I just don't feel we're using, uh, we're going to be using our resource as well as possible. I think I will play this, just to have something to ramp into. And what are we cutting? Could just be Adventurous Impulse, but no, the Quandrix is there, I'm not going to be Channel. Be scurried colony. Yeah, I can see that. I know you know what, it's just a land, isn't it? And that makes far more sense. So suggest so land, eight seven. It's kind of works for me, assuming it's eight six. Yeah. Okay, well really fun of where we got, but we're here, we've got a deck, let's play a couple of games, it's probably what I can manage now, but in terms of the video, let's see how it goes. We're going to be playing against Ms. G. It's not a bad deck, I just feel it could have been so much better. Can Adventurous Impulse miss? <laughs> can. Take the two drop in case we have to kill his three drop. Hmm. Really wish I hadn't taken the two drop now. Troll. So I can give my 3-3 Trample here. <laughs> I think it's just play Master Symmetrist and go for the nice play next turn. Yeah, because Mage Duel Miss, assuming two things live here, Mage Duel next turn is insane. My opponent misses his land drop, I see. I'm just going to play Zimone Quandrix Pro Prodigy and I'm going to pass the turn here though. I don't need to play Mage Duel into three open mana and six cards in hand. I imagine something's about to die. Yep. Doomblade. Professor. Lovely. Oh, I like that attack. I really like that attack from my point of view.
So we get Mage Jewel, the 4-4 four, four fights the 4-3. The Two two fights the two two. Yeah, attack for a lot here. There's no point jumping, is there? Hmm. Of course, of course, it hasn't got trample itself. That is one of those rare occasions where that actually matters. Okay, the pledge majors here. The pledge majors here. Let's just play things out. I'm less confident in my position now, but none of the mage will be fantastic here. Expanded anatomy, okay. The arch. I like that. <laughs> so let's just tap this for four. Hmm. That was a good turn for me. An expensive turn, but a good turn. Karok Wrangler, right, oh, old boy. Hmm. I think we can carry on taking it slow here. <laughs> it's not the button I meant to press. So a single removal spell won't really do it from here, so I'm feeling relatively confident. Let's say I'm going to win. Expanded anatomy, okay? Like we've entered the slow bit of the game now. We are going to put absolutely everything in front of that. When I say everything, I mean these f four. Oh, right, no problem. Let's just gain some life. Prof Zoo, so we're we're not going through him. Not a bad way to get multiple lands in play quickly. What have we got in our graveyard to start putting back in? No, sorry, I thought we just tap and that shit. So we're going to have to start throwing things in front of this trudge. Crushing disappointment, okay. That's fine. I prefer my card draw spell, I think. No problemo. So let's put the four, five and 2-2 two, two here and 4-3 here. I think that's going to work best. Phase around one trick. Mm 
get a big fractal. I think we lay the pledge mage here. It's just safer. This time we can start drawing two, play the fractal summoning, and then hopefully carve out a win from all the extra cards. We just need our Zimone to stay alive a little bit longer. But Quandrick's already done its thing. Zimone's been pretty good too. How many Pumba was that good? Professor and Zoom the opponent's deck's pretty sick. Kinda wish we had this to keep us from decking. Uh, Lane on invocation's never bad. Let's draw two. One of those times where I bloomin' wish we were playing some splashing. I mean, we've got so many more cards than an opponent, we should be able to carve a win out from here, I think. The trudge is annoying. I think I want to keep drawing every turn, for now. An ether helix is kind of what we want here. Yeah, Good. So an Ether Helix getting back Cogwork Archivist is exactly where we want to be. Putting back, I presume, the 5-5. Five five. For now, though, let's just play a Leyline Invocation. Yeah, sure, let's take that. on the draw every land plan which isn't going to work out for him I think I'm on the mage jewel plan here and I'm going to play another 10-10 plan and think about what I'm going to do so this master symmetrist is looking pretty good Righto, father, I'll be right down. My dad's here with me, it's nice. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, so it's a nine, nine, my bad. I don't think we need to mage jewel here. I'm going to decline. Obviously, I don't need the lands. I don't need to attack yet. We should be doing so in a felt swoop. That's a lot of land. Alright, first we're going Ether Helix, then we're going to target his. Maybe the trudge actually. Yeah, the trudge is a good target, and we're getting back our um, mm, our new plan. No, maybe not. Oh, I didn't even think about that. I don't think we're going to need it. Let's just get right out of the cogworks.
Cool. Uh, we want the Quandrix command first, if at all possible. Want to play the hand. Want to play the Cogwork Archivist. We want to kill. Do we even care about killing anything? Yeah, I think we do. So we want to put this on here and kill this, just in case he's got something. We will tap these three. Uh, no, I'm alright, thanks. Yeah, so we're going to draw Cultivate, but the game should be over by then. Has flunk on what exactly? Okay, so we're gonna have to win a bit sooner than planned, but this is surely the end. 19, 24, 29, two seconds. I'll be, uh, I'll be two, I'll be. Oh, sorry, they're, they're up here. I'll be, I'll bring some down. Excuse me. I'll be right back. So this is 20, uh, 1929 points of damp of trample. We keep the master symmetry so we can do it next turn. Sorry, I didn't really count to be honest, I was uh, a little waylaid. Seven, that's two, sorry, three, that's 12 points of damage so far. Trudge doesn't do anything. We draw two with this, we draw Quandrix command, yes. It's a close one, thanks to my ineptitude. Uh, yeah, sure. A flunk play worked out well for him. He's down to three. I'd be probably miss lethal, that, I'll be honest with you, but no necessary. <laughs> no proof, no proof. You didn't see, you can't prove anything. Fractal summoning, obviously not going to be enough. Yeah, well, the opponent has drawn horrendously. He's got four lands left in 15 cards. You know what, I think he would have been able to win this had I not, had he not drawn like an absolute. Oh, like that. Should be that, which is that. <laughs> Very unlucky opponent. I feel you should have been able to win there had you had the luck of any sort of draw. Instead, you lost, and I am bloody lucky. That, my friends, is me and my lovely dad going to have some lovely food. So I'll see you for round two, probably dressed differently, wearing being somewhere else. Ciao. I don't know why I do that, I'm so sorry. Testing, testing, round two. Uh, without my beautiful face, angelic as it is this time, uh, simply because I'm, uh, well, it's because it's not, <laughs> for want of a better word. We are going for round two, maybe a different day, but my desire and will to win is unmatched in this two-colour, should-be-ramp, should-be-multicolour fixing deck. 
poorly drafted deck, I think that's fair to say, but we have a good hand here. Since yesterday's, I took a, a long road trip and I was able to uh, listen to limited resources assess the mystical archive card. They decry, oh, that's a good draw. They're, God, this deck should be so many colors. <laughs> I've made a terrible error. They decry channel as unplayable in this format. I, um, well, I, I agree. <laughs> yes, it's still in the deck. Let's get Cultivate, because we're going to get a turn four ley line here, which is pretty good. And we just want two blue sources, I guess, given what we're going to be casting with Field Trip. And we're obviously not going to be trading off our 2-2 here. It's about to be a lot bigger. Yeah, the Augmented Pugilist is a nice little pickup here. Yeah, I think I'm just going to, I'm not going to attack. So if I play the field trip this turn, I get up to six mana. Then next turn I get up to seven mana. So that this and this don't get bigger quicker is my point. I think I am willing to attack here because I'm not going to block. And I'm okay trading the 2-2 two -two for the 2-1. Worked out well for me. Next time we should have a nice little play. Opponent looks set to either kill the 3-3 three, three or do something dastardly. Cool. Spectre of the Fens. Huh, well, Leyline Invocation gets better than what you wait, I guess. So let's field trip into Fractal. Let's play this. And obviously we're fighting this. If we do it like this, we can get killed. We can put in the attack then. No, oh, sorry, what am I thinking? No, we can't. get in for a lot. So next turn we're swinging for 12 damage and we're playing a 8-8. Eight, eight. That's a good turn. But it probably needs to kill the pugilist here. Owl in shield mage, you know what? That's not going to do it. Cool, opponent takes eight. We play an eight eight. I don't think he's got a wrath here. I mean there's no reason he'd play this if he had. He could games me, and he's not a dick. So that was pretty much a nutty draw from us. And the victory, which I still maintain I've drafted this deck horrendously, but the victory was uh, was nice, because as I've said countless times if you've been watching these videos now you'll you'll see that I'm, I'm always happy with two wins sorry with, <laughs> with three wins i'm a fucking idiot i'm always happy with three wins i'm not happy with two wins unless that two wins less those two wins are then followed by a third win i'm also thinking on a completely different note about putting my own little old picture in all the interview sorry in all the video titles as that might work better in showing people who's drafting what we do here and get more views which is ultimately the goal of everyone in life Less of a nutty hand than last time, but we kind of drew away into glory last time. Let's hope to do so again. As we go for the three, the three win match, the championship match. Our opponent Mulligans, he'll be disappointed with that. Yeah, we draw six drop. I'd say that's, that's the second best land we could have drawn there. I'll happily take the trade though. I 
Ooh, this is good. Let's just pass. There's no need for us to play out Professor into a potential counter. You know, I think with Curate on the stack, after he... There's my control. After he does this, I'm just going to play my spell out. I do not want to give him too much info, and I certainly do not want to get my Eureka moment countered here. Lovely, jovely. <laughs> Professor of Zoomance here. Okie dokie. Uh, Quantrix Command is nice. I think we're going to Venturous Impulse first, get the forest we want, and then just play out own Prof Zoo. Next turn I'll probably play the Pugilist and leave up Quandrix Command. Eureka! Okay, opponent does not have a land in hand, so he has six spells, which is his own problem, I guess. Alternatively, I could just play the Cogwork Artivist, that's probably the right play. Or I could just use this, actually, plan B, right? Yeah, let's just go for this, so... Uh, return to our creature planes with his own hand. And I make this a 6-5, right? Yep. Cool. Eureka moment. Let me set a land this time. Uh, yeah, well... That's the three wins, didn't come in the, the most heroic of fashions, but my god. My record of never lo never failing to get seven wins with Quandrix is still on the table. I don't know if it's luck, skill, it, well I certainly wouldn't say it's skill. But there is a huge element of luck to it as the opponent there just... I wouldn't say he mulliganed into oblivion, but he mulliganed into card draw and doing nothing. Maybe Quandrix is just good. Yay. Anyway, anyone watching this video, uh, and some of them do spike, and you know what? I enjoy making them, so I don't really mind if anyone watches them. I'm going to play Magic anyway, and I'm going to talk to myself anyway, so it's an enjoyable hobby. Do you uh, do you care about... I've been reading a lot about... My brother-in-law makes a lot of YouTube videos. He's told me I should be putting my face on a lot more. I don't know if that's because I'm particularly attractive or <laughs> just as a rule. But do, do you care if people's videos have faces on the title like of them looking like they've farted or something like <gasps> oh my god that kind of look leave it in the comments this sounds great the eagerness of that lad Pilgrim for every age. So setting myself up for a lovely five mana five five. Humiliate. Okay. What does he take here? I think I. I think he'll take the Pugilist. I think he should probably take the Pledge Mage, is my thoughts. Pledge Mage is good. I'm more annoyed by the fact that he knows my hand now, because I think there's, there's going to be significant value in that. Yeah, good play. Good play indeed.
And we're a hundred percent blocking here. Okay. I'd like to draw Quandrix command to go with me pugilist. Huh. Well, the symmetrist works too. There's no real value in just leaving that in the hand until we get to eight mana. Like all the black white removal spells I know of, kill it regardless. Yeah. Oh, right. Okay, well that makes me very certain he has a removal spell for the Pugilist. That's going to be Rise of Exodus or something. Yeah. <laughs> Channel not quite where you want to be, right? I forgot I had that in my deck. Yeah, you got to do what you got to do. I'm the mug who put it in my deck, so I'm the mug who saw it. I'm the mug who has to deal with it. You know what? It's going to be great. I don't think of chumping. Right, okay, well that leads me... Well, that means we can narrow down what he's got in his hand. I presume. So, a wrath seems relatively likely if he's doing that. Oh, okay, blot out the sky. We're dead. Uh, yeah, there's no way I can beat that. <laughs> Let's just go to the next one. There's no point beating around the bush when you've got that out there. So maybe he wasn't thinking about jumping, he just thought it was a trade. But Blot Out the Sky, every time I've seen it cast or cast it myself, has just resulted in an immediate concession. I mean, there's no there's no point fanning around there. Anything we can do differently? I do not think so. Draft a better deck. A bit of me, I know this is going to sound weird, hopes this deck doesn't recover to get the seven wins that... It's, the obligatory Quandrix seven wins for me so far, because it really, really doesn't deserve that. I mean, fucking like, I drew Channel. Like, <laughs> what more? <laughs> if you're idiotic enough to put Channel in your deck and you draw Channel, I mean, not, not only am I an idiot, but I, I don't deserve anything. I don't deserve nice things. That's enough segue. Let's get four wins. Four wins I'll be happy with. I might switch to traditional draft soon. We'll see. Oh dear. Mm, this isn't a very good hand at all. So if we draw a green mana... Huh... If we ever draw a green mana, this really does kick off, though. You know what? I'm greedy. Opponents playing that Rakdos life. Hmm. At least I didn't have to discard. There we go. Eager first year. I think I'm going to Adventurous in No. Oh, I think I am going to Adventurous Impulse here. Then I can get a green, hopefully, and play Quandrix Mage into Mage Jewel. There we go. I mean, I could also just play the Pledge Mage now I think about it. Hmm. you got to do what you got to do. Yeah, Pledge Mage dodges heated debate. Dueling coach, okay, so it's on the flyer. I think this is going to be a good turn. Ooh, interesting, interesting. I 
think we just get the rather, rather boring route. Looks like he might have village rights. We shall see. One black. Oh, could I be Professor Onyx's warning? Yeah, I'm okay if it is. No, we're not going to get around Professor Onyx's warning at this point. Just makes it indestructible. Pick the green. Okay. I think I will attack. No, well, that's very good news for me. Lash of Malice, righto. Mm, the channel's looking a bit shitty here, so is Expel. It's looking very shitty with Expel. But I'm still feeling confident, especially another Pledge Mage. The most arrogant of poets. Right, if I'm going to use channel, it's now. So I'm going to tap these two and channel. I'm going to tap one, two, one, two. And cast Eureka moment. I'm going to curse, okay, so I am probably just want to cast Scurried Colony here, or maybe just leave this up. It's a 4-4 four, four Flyer, sorry, 4-4 four, four Reach. Interesting. Of content, of course, is do this. I take three, gain one, so I get eight. He attacks this, puts me down to six. Le leaves me very weak to removals. I think it's. I think it's the ley line invocation here. I'm not going to be attacking. Hmm, okay. It's annoying. If I can fade this turn, I'm in a great position, though. Well, I didn't. He gave it flying, which is good news for me. Because he needn't bother there. Pillar Drop Rescuer. Okay. So we are playing this, playing a Skurid Colony, playing an Augmenter Pugilist, and we are attacking for five here. I think we're going to be able to get there. Eh, we'll see, we might not. Guiding Voice. Okay. So if he plays Mage Hunter's Onslaught and attack, because I'm going to want the counters spread around, I guess. And I think I'm going to want them here. Never play Rakdos, friends. Never play Rakdos. You know what? Channel won that game. Sort of. <laughs> Or was Channel almost integral in our losing that game from a seemingly unassailable position? 
I'm very surprised we managed to win once we kept that opening hand and then missed on Forest for a few draws. We got lucky. No rush, my friends. Come and face the might of Quandrix. And Greg, who is playing the Quandrix. Okay. Shad Zero Aspect 91. Let's hope you can't kill Zimone, my friend. Mulligan. He's not going to like that, is he? Stellar Pupil. Ah, uh, that's a good draw. <laughs> Will it die? The answer is no. Will I block? The answer is also no. Will I have the chance? I suppose I will have the chance, but I won't be... Ooh. Interesting, interesting, interesting. No, oh, right. That's annoying. A bit of me thinking about attacking this turn here. Just trading and then... Uh, ether helixing with something next turn and bringing that back. But we're well set up here. Oh my god, cat. There's a microphone here. Oh, inkling summoning here. This is fantastic for me. Uh, no, I don't need to block. I don't mind that play, but I mean, this play is just so good. Uh, so let's take a blue, I guess. Let's put the blue on the battlefield. Green. Let's <laughs> just play the security colony. And at this point, it's done its damage. Let's just get in for two. I presume he's probably not going to block. Excellent. Lash of Malice, that is fine, my friend. What's he getting back? Inkling summoning? Yeah, that's fine. Let's play the Invocation of Mage Duel, I think, here. Works for me. The alternative is just with the bloom and no, okay, better plan. This guy and with the bloom, I think. And then next turn we can go ham. And then we're not blocking with it. So opponent's going to get in for four, feel nice, warm, and fuzzy, and I think we're just going to. Get him quite. The game's going to be quite quickly quite over. That doesn't change my opinion. Still doesn't change my opinion. So we're going to leyline invocation, tapping correctly. A forest mage jewel
Yeah, I could just attack. Actually, I like just attacking here. I presume he knows what's up. Maybe not. Cool. Next time we either helix, get back something big and just win. Yeah, get back the squirrel colonnade. Ah, oh, the lifelink's gonna matter here. Not too much though. It's a good draw as well. His opponent can get in for two next turn, guaranteed, but doesn't save him from certain destruction. Was there need for that drama in my voice? There was. Defend the campus. Cool, doesn't matter. And he knows it. I don't mind what opponent had going on though, incidentally. The, the aggressive white-black deck does catch a lot of people out. He mulliganed and his draw was all right, if not ridiculous. So, not that difficult to win. Once more, Quandrix is just the best. Boring, boring, green, blue. I say boring, boring, green, blue. It's, it's nice to win. It's nice to win sometimes, isn't it? Come here, kitty. The cat last night, by all accounts, I wasn't here, found a bag of dreamies. I don't know how. I'll be, I'll be speaking to the other party about this. Ate all the dreamies, including the plastic, was sick everywhere, and then shat everywhere on the floor as well. An inauspicious moment for all involved. Certainly you, you bad twat cat. Some may think I'm harsh to this cat. I would say meet, meet him. Meet him and then be like, oh, he, yeah, fair enough. He, he is a dick. Nike back. Opponent goes first. I would feel very confident if I was going first with this hand. As is, I just feel quite confident. Opponent hasn't mulliganed. That's not very good for me. His opponent mulliganing seems to be my way forward. Let's get the apprentice out. If he's got reject, he's got reject. No problem. Reject seems to be a begrudgingly playable card. Uh, let's go cultivate. Ooh, sorry, kitten. Opponent does nothing. Cool, let's continue. Let's play Zimone Quandrix Prodigy before anything else. Then get the field trip out there and get our fractal summoning. Hmm. I like that. I like that a lot. There, and there were some who said Channel wasn't the greatest card ever. I don't know what he's got, but I'm not attacking. Berry in books. Okay, looks like I am attacking. Do 
Do we have any permanents in our graveyard? No. Okay. In for four, please. Do we have another berry in books? No. Cool. Pass the turn. We can draw a card and we can Quandrix command here. Opponent looks very much like they've got a wrath, I will say. Get the campus down, attack for four, pass the turn. I'm relatively confident the opponent's got draconic intervention now, which is why they were so keen to bury in books. If he does have draconic intervention, I'm just going to put two plus one counters on this. Returned past caller, I see. Oh, that's interesting. Returns burying books. If I just... Can I win here? If I return this to his hand, I put two counters there. In this just... No, oh, I put him to one. I put him to one. Because I make this a six, I use this, getting a one more damage. Okay. Um now would have been lethal. It still can be lethal, can it? Is there anything in one red the shock? So I've got three Eight, nine. So this is lethal then. So let me just take that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes. I don't think he's got anything that can ruin that. Ah, I fucked it. I fucked it. Because I needed to attack with... Uh, I needed to Mage Duel first. Yeah. Hmm. It's annoying. Completely, completely fucked it. Ah! Hate myself. I mean, it's not a bad play. He's, he's at five. I'd rather draw two cards here. No, oh, that was a terrible play. <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear. Oh, dear, oh, dear. I even counted several times just to make sure I had the right mana, and then I proceeded to do it wrong. I had to mage duel first, of course. Multiple choice. Okay. I mean, I should still be alright here, right? But I did get rid of the the onboard lethal. Never mind. I've got nothing in my graveyard. Oh, shit. So do mind. Is there any way I can make this take damage and make it... And make it... Um... Basically, my new question is, is there any way I can make this take damage to make it trampley? Ah, shit.
So I can fight with Zimone Quandrix Prodigy. That doesn't solve the problem. Ugh, bollocks. I guess we'll just... M Let's just play the Witherbloom. Jesus Christ. Wrath time. I suppose burying books means there's no big wrath anymore. He's playing exactly like he has a wrath, though. I'm refusing to get that out of my head. No. Settle the wreckage? Okay, so two burying books... I don't know if Settle the Wreckage is in the set, which is what's causing me a bit of consternation here. Let's draw first. Okay, so it's snow day, so I'm glad I did this. I need to move to discard at some point. I need something to go to the bastard graveyard. <laughs> that's an inst that's a, a permanent. Surely something's got to go to the back graveyard now. Interestingly, that red-white means he has something. He still has something red-white worthy. Wrath doesn't kill this. We can refill our board as and when he does wrath, assuming he does. I mean, we, we've literally missed lethal six turns ago here. We've not been at our best. We're just playing into the wrath, which I'm virtually certain he's got. He must be drunk. <laughs> Pillar Drop Warden. I'm going to be honest, say that that's not what I expected here. <laughs> okay. Do we have anything in our graveyard yet? Oh, yes, that's going to work. So I want them all to be going to power a copy of this. If it doesn't work, that's not the end of the world, because I can just bounce it back from the graveyard. And then get in lethal anyway. Hmm. 
Oh, fantastic. <laughs> yeah, boy. Getting lethal. Six turns late. That is vintage level play from a vintage level player. Are we at five or six now? If we're at six wins, I'm dis I'm disgusted. We're six and one. I'm disgusted with other people. I. I've drafted like a fucking moron. I've managed to miss lethal. I won't say most games, but I've missed a few lethals here. I've got channel in my deck. And I'm still going to seven win with Quandrix, it looks like. Nothing I can do can stop the Quandrix train. And that upsets me. Because even though green-blue, I think it's always been my de facto, one of my favourite colour combos. Uh, I just find it a bit boring in this format. Well, not boring, but I like it when everything's everything's viable. And from the well, from the decks I seem to be doing well with compared to decks that aren't doing well, both in my hands and others, it seems there is a bit of a disparity. I guess there's always a disparity in what's good and what's bad. So I shouldn't really whinge about that, and I should also stop whinging that I'm uh, about to win again. But I'm British. I like to be able to whinge. It's our modus operandi. Okay, I go first with a hand which involves Quandrix Apprentice, and I thus keep. I then look at the other cards. I think Quandrix Apprentice is my pick for Mythic Uncommon. You play against it, and if... Your opponent doesn't kill it. Sorry, if you play against it and you don't kill it, you just feel like you're almost certainly going to lose. And you usually do. He didn't have a lash of malice, so he must have... Okay. I'm feeling good about this. I wish he'd played a creature, but... We can live with this. Play a three drop. It's interestingly, sorry, if you just move, remove the Augmenter thingy here, we're, we're looking pretty bad. As it is, we're looking fine. I'm going to use my mana to... Oh, never mind. Never mind. What a turn. I was going to say I'm going to use Mage Jewel here and get him for 5 or 6, however much it would be. But, God, Field Trip. Field Trip. MV Trip. Probably the most powerful trip in the format. And I include Fatal Push in that. XR target creature. Cool. Might be a little too late for that now, is my prediction. Could still lose, but probably won't. Probably won't. Huh. Hmm. So my logic here is opponent pro is probably very keen on that surviving. I would like to kill it. I can play this as a 4-4, four, four, get a land, Mage Jewel, that's probably what I want to do. Well, turn 2 I can attack for 6 and play this and this, hmm. Okay, maybe that's better. Yeah, that is better. If he's got an Expel, then good for him. I wonder if he's not playing like he's got a wrath. But I was wrong last time. Well, maybe I was wrong last time. I don't know. I still think there might have been a wrath. I was just not privy to at that time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> the rest of my life. Definitely blocking the attacks, incidentally. We can play around a wrath all we want. If the opponent just blows land, 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 blot out the sky, we look like complete novices. And it's also one of these times where I don't really think he can afford to kill the um, the one two because he's got too many threats. And that's a good divine gambit for me. Cool. Four mana open. Let's draw before we do anything. I don't really know what the black removal is at instant. There's a gr uh, yeah, there is one. There's the black green destroy target creature. And non land permanent. That works for me. Two and tap. Opponent explodes! Another seven win with Quandrix. Well, I've, I've demonstrated a loop in this format now. The loop is draft Quandrix, get seven wins. Don't draft Quandrix, don't get seven wins. We got seven wins, we drafted Quandrix. Well, that's quite good, actually. I think that was an enjoyable bash of matches. I still felt the deck really did lack something, and I felt we drew quite well. I am very surprised this deck went seven wins, to be honest with you. The one Quandrix Apprentice showing up pretty much every draft on queue and drawing me several cards every draft helped. The Cogwork Archivist, you know what, Channel wasn't bad. All you naysayers out there saying Channel's bad, Channel is pretty bad. But in these specific circumstances and the exact draw patterns in which I got it, Channel was good. Anyway... Another seven wins with Quandrix, another draft video, another time for us to revel in what we share together. I do hope you come back, I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope if you did you watched the next one and you enjoyed that one too. I hope you're enjoying the more regular uploads and I will take it out, leave it there and wish you all a good night. Goodbye.